Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this week on the vlog, we're gonna be talking about how the first C8 sold at Barrett Jackson last night for $3 million. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an absolute opportunity here. You're not only going to get the first retail production VIN number one, but you're going to get the all-new 2020 C8 Corvette Coupe, the first ever mid-engine Corvette. Three million one. Great cost, folks. Three million one. And three million one hundred thousand dollars. And three million one. And three million has been a three million one hundred thousand dollars. And three one. And three million one 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 not a million. And three million one hundred thousand dollars. Not a million. Get all three. That is such a astronomical amount of money for the purchase of a vehicle, in my opinion. It's just absolutely insane. And then I got to think about it. The guy that, that bought it, his name is Rick Hendrick. And he's obviously a wealthy man. And the proceeds of that went to charity. That guy's a genius. One, if he has $3 million to put out on a car like that... He's, you know, obviously up into an eight, seven, eight figure income. And that's a tax write-off. 100% that the all proceeds are going to the Detroit Children's Fund. 100% of that is a tax write-off. The dude collects Corvettes. He now has VIN number one, C8 which is gonna be a black on black, three LT. Uh, it's, I mean, it's not like he got like a bottom of the barrel car on out of this. And it's VIN number one, C8, the first mid engine, which is how the Corvette should have been in my opinion from day one, like Zara wanted it. Um, and he gets a $3 million tax write off. Other than the $3 million C8, the other thing that's kind of caught my attention that's been in the news uh, around the C8s lately, and this is from a few days ago, is the whole GM employees get arrested for street racing. I also think this was a genius tactic. I almost want to say that in some off-the-record back room at GM headquarters, it was staged. I mean... I could be wrong on that. Might not be. I, I, don't, I don't know. I just... That whole incident, 100 and 120 mile an hour, and I, I believe it was a 45 or 35 mile an hour zone, you know, two of the engineers, you know, these are guys that get out and get to test drive these pre-production cars, and basically they're the ones that say, hey, I don't like how this how the body roll is through these corners. I mean, these are 
deciding people on how these cars are done. And, I mean, it's just this whole event of surrounding them has gotten more hype than anything else that GM's done. So, I mean, it, to me, it's, there's nothing bad to come of it. You got two guys that, if it wasn't planned, really did GM a favor. So, I just, I, I, I thought that was kind of funny when I read that. And... Everyone's like, oh, they're like I said, they're everyone's like they're, they're going to get fired or, oh, that's so wrong and this is disrespectful and you know, unresponsible and whatever. All right. With all that being said, if you guys have any opinions on the C8 Corvette, good, bad, ugly, whatever, go ahead and drop them down in the comments below. And I'd like to kind of get some dialogue going on these videos, some interaction. I always respond to comments, or at least try to, unless it's someone just being obnoxious. So, with that, leaves us going till next week for our next video. If you like this video or any of my other videos, don't forget to click the subscribe button right here. Or check out some of our older videos right here. Thanks, guys. See you next week.